a wheel. I'm closing the top on the raindrop. I'm keeping the game in the headlock. When throw it blind in my dreadlock. In the end zone with the med dot. One phone call, get it dead stop. I feel like I own the season. Say one thing, just give me a reason. Knowing you're mad, I'm undefeated. Top dog, making it even. Oh, I had to get back up. Back up. I had to get back up. Yeah, I can't turn off. You better call back up. I'm running it down to finish. I don't play, get down and get it. Talk about that, come slide, I'm with it. Better see me now, on God, I'm litty. I know that you're trying to go beat. Better run up the cash, you love to spin. Better kill it and beat it again. I'm ready to tell you, I'm down to win. I can't feel bad. It's magic with the gang. We ball out, it can't get tragic. All we got, we gon' let you let you have it. Stuck in my ways, think I need to change my habits. What would you do if you were me and didn't have it? Look in the mirror now, I'm feeling like a savage. Tell my son I love him for him, I'ma make it happen. Now my dreams reality, not going back to back to back. To. You say that you proud of me, I turn my back, you laughing. Now I hit the scene, they like lights, camera action. Living in a dream, now my music, they be blasting. Step out, I'm a star, always in the latest fashion. Had to set the bar, bar try to catch me lacking. Bank account for my son, he won't have to struggle. You can see it in my eyes, all I do is hustle. They tried to knock me off my feet, I'm ready to rumble. Felt like I ain't eight in weeks, working off the muscle. Oh yeah, oh my, we ride for my brothers, no lie. All you, all you can die, never wrong, they right. I ain't changing my side, yeah, we in it for life. It's yeah, I've been up in magic. With the gang, we ball out, it can't get tragic. All we got, we gon' let you, let you have it. Stuck in my ways, think I need to change my habits. What would you do if you were me and didn't have it? Look in the mirror, now I'm feeling like a savage. Tell my son I love him for him, I'ma make it happen. Now my dreams reality, not going back to back to back. You say that you proud of me, I turn my back, you laugh. Hey, how could you lie to my face? People claim that they be loyal, they be taking up space. See my Roski lose his heart when he was fighting that case. Took so many yells, I'm not going back to those days. I'ma treat you how you treat me, do you like how it tastes? Shawty use a use of can't treat you like my ace i got way too many problems to be worried i'm straight me and craig craig had to watch for the jakes on the road this road crazy i get 80 a show say my money stack it up and look like i'm like i'm like foreign cars driving fast i never done this before get get on out my problems let me let me when i'm in a piece magic with the gang we ball out it can't get tragic all we got we gonna let you let you have it stuck in my ways think i need to change my habits what would you do if you were me and didn't have look in the mirror now i'm feeling like a sad okay coach thank you ea sports coverage of the national football league is in uptown charlotte north carolina at bank of america stadium Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Carolina Panthers. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. This is taken at his four. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Now on first down. 
And the reception made by Alshon Jeffrey. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an Eagle first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's carry number one for Jordan Howard. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. On the toss play, Howard. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. Now look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch them? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. On first down, they run with Howard. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Now they'll throw it. Wentz. Man open, it's J.J. Ortega-Whiteside. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start, getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. First down. Philadelphia. I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they even let you play. On first and ten, here's Wentz. Caught by the tight end Ertz. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. They'll run on first down. Howard. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. We were just talking about him pregame. Three tackles for a loss. Last week, you thought he looked so explosive on film. Starting off good there, another one in the first quarter. He's every bit of what you described, and I don't want to make it too simplistic, but right now for him, it's see ball, get ball. And that's what he's doing really, really well, and he's doing it in the offense's backfield. Well, this has been a good march down the field, but now they're stuck looking at a second and 14. Throwing his wins. Looking for Ertz, but it's intercepted. Picked off inside the 10. And he'll be stopped shy of the 15 at the 14-yard line on the return. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that Ertz. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. But well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync 
as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Trying to fit it into Moore, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Sidney Jones. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Well, we know this defense has athleticism. Spots like that prove us right. I love the way that you spotlighted the athleticism because you and I both know the best athletes on the field, they play on defense. Oh, I don't know. I was a kicker. you got to remember that now. Come on, come on. Fine. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Watch twist. Watch twist. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and seven at the 28-yard line. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. To throw is Newton. Taking a shot for Samuel. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst... You'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, and have them back on their heels. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Let's go, let's go. Out of the gun, Newton. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Give him eight yards on the play, and they pick up the first. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. And a nice gain of 21 yards. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. Check 99. Check 99. Great, great. Gun, gun. What is Newton throwing again. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. Fletcher Cox, the former Mississippi State Bulldog, ringing the cowbell there on the sack. That's the end of the first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Gun, gun, gun. 53 is mine. Check. 53 is mine. Get ready. Get ready. Newton to throw. And he will find the open man. It's DJ Moore. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Give him 18. It's a Carolina first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Coming to you, coming to you. Swiss, last twist, last twist. Great, great, great. Newton out of throw. Open man is Samuel, complete. 
No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Now Newton stepping up. He'll try and run. The improv act there, good for nine, and now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir, able to turn that into a positive game. Newton looking to throw on third and one. And Thomas has it. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. First and 10 at the 14-yard line. Newton will bring him up first and 10. And he's five for six now, throwing the ball on this drive. Now a toss. This is McCaffrey. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. The last run got six, now second and four. Here's a carry for a former starter. This is Lamar Miller. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. Third and two. Let's here go. Here go. What number 53. Mike 53. All right, T, let's go. All right, T. From the gun, here's Newton. That's caught. It's Thomas. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. And the 12 year veteran knocks it right through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13 play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes, you don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together Charles and Blitz coming, and down he goes. Brian Burns coming in hard there on the Blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Throwing now is Wentz. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down. Then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back. But it's a big play. They've got to hold up. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Shotgun now for Wentz. It's Hill, complete. It'll be a gain of 12, but it will also lead to fourth down. 
people worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together and he catches it and goes over the sideline. On fourth down, here's Matt Bosher on the punt. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. A 48-yard punt, seven on the return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and ten. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now. We'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. Forced out to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. And that one was nearly picked. Not sure he was accounting for the free safety. That brings up third down. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. From the gun on third down, Newton. And he's got the hook up to Moore. He gets seven out of it, and he also gets a first. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't it? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. Newton now, 8 of 11 in this first half. He's got it first and 10. Throwing again is Newton. He gets it to Thomas. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Panther first down. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Mike, you're not ready. You're not ready. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Check the outs, check the outs, check the outs. 53, 53. To the air again, Newton. Flush to his right. Trying to get it to Thomas, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. He was trying to hit Thomas that time. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit, and receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from yeah, him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. So after the INT, here's Wins. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. It's the play by Luke Kinkley that picks it. And he will score. Touchdown, Panthers. Charles, I'm looking at you, and understandably, your mouth is wide open in disbelief. What were they thinking? That's going to be one of the great mysteries, but I do know this. When they went out on offense, I will guarantee they told them, don't just make anticipatory throws. Make sure you see it before you throw it. Didn't happen here. Trying to protect that lead, and now they gave it up. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here we go, here we go. 
The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And you have to figure they won't just sit on the football here in the final minute. The way things have gone, they need to try to make something happen offensively. But maybe they should. Maybe they should sit on it here because of what you just said. They haven't made anything happen offensively. Getting ready to go into the half, give them a chance to take a deep breath, exhale a little bit, and start over. I don't know if this is the time to push it myself. Yeah, right now, under 100 yards of total offense. Escaping the pressure right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Wentz and company with some work to do after the sack. From the gun, it's Wentz. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. Well, the crowd doesn't like that. Was going to bring up fourth, now it's first. <laughs> they don't like it at all, do they? It brings them back into it, but really not in a positive way. Now they're angry. That can jangle a team a little bit as well. Pass interference ruined that series of downs for them. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Four yards on the pickup, and it'll bring up a second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Here's Wentz to throw. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Shot the forehand for Wentz. And he connects with Ertz. Let's go. So it's halftime here in Charlotte with the Panthers out on top as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! The Panthers out in front and they will get the football first. Second half action underway. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because... Now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's we'll see if they do just that. On first down, Newton. He's going to go for a big play. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Carolina! D.J. Moore, his first touchdown on the year. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down, Pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. This is taken at the three. He's got the lane, and there he goes. The 20, 10, and he'll score. Touchdown, Eagles. The kick return touchdown goes for 97 yards as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Such an electric play, so much fun to watch, and you need all 11 guys in sync for that to be successful, don't you? Without a doubt. That's, that's teamwork, to be able to put it all together, but that play is really probably the most exciting 10 seconds in football. Matt Bosher is set to kick off. 
So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. A shotgun snap for Newton. Dancing to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. the 45 before he's brought down. It's a Panthers first down, 17 yards on the play. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there, and if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit, and that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. On first down, this is McCaffrey. He's got the first down and more inside the 40, and down to the 29-yard line. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. Now Newton. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. D.J. Moore with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. Gano for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is taken at the three. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that line. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Brian Burns in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18 to throw. It's Wins. Open man is our Sega Whiteside. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. Touchdown, Philadelphia. J.J. Artega Whiteside, 76 yards, as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Here's Bullock now for the extra point. 
It's up and good, and this now becomes a 24-21 ball game. Now after the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now it's Newton. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Throwing on third down, Newton. And he's got his target, that's Moore. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. The Panthers have the first, it's a gain of 12. Newton now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. Out of the gun, Newton. And he's got McCaffrey open, complete. And he's dropped right at the 40, gain of three. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. And look at this. Cam Newton intercepted a third time. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. And that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Well, things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. Do they want to be methodical, or do they want to take the big strike and go after it right now? All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of 10 times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Running with Howard. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. Up front, the struggles continue for this offense among the line. What can they do? Change the play calling? What? I think part of that, yes, changing some of the play calls, some screens, some draws, some misdirection. You want to run any type of a play that will influence these guys to continue to get upfield and find a way to use that against them and slip things in behind them. So some quick passes could work as well. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Working from the gun, Wentz. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Yeah. 
Here's Matt Bosher now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. That'll be out of bounds, and how good was that? They'll say the three-yard line. That's where they spot it. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they begin this drive in very precarious field position inside their own five. And remember, this is a defense that's already scored once in this game. So you've got to really take care and make sure that you're blocking these guys who try and wedge the ball out from the shadow of your own end zone. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Watch the slant. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Six, man. Check curls, check curls, check curls. Second and ten, Newton again. He'll get this to McCaffrey out of the backfield. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. So that last play gives them a little more space now. Here's first and 10 at the 16-yard line. Gun, gun, gun. Mike spot four, Mike spot four, Mike spot four. Hey, pick it up. From the gun, here's Newton. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. He was trying to get that one into the hands of Christian McCaffrey. But it's going to be second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To throw again. Newton eluding the pressure right. Gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. They talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Now Newton. And they get to Newton and take him down for the sack. Malik Jackson, the 6'5 D tackle with a sack. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. So following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Newton to throw. Flushed out right. And he's got the hook up to Moore. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do. When you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. Newton's pass is on target to Moore. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. 11 yards and a Panther first down. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. Some pretty good games all weekend. We may have saved the best for last. This Monday night game has been a dandy. McCaffrey on the toss right. 
And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. The Panthers on third down. They've been excellent. Six for seven. This is third down and 12. Operating from the gun. Newton flush to his right. And that is incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. They spot it on the midfield stripe. So it is a 60-yard attempt here. And his kick is good. Oh, he just did tuck it into the bottom of that left corner. And that right there is something we've seen, oh, I don't know, 15 times in NFL history. That will officially go down as a 60-yard field goal. And everything has to be absolutely perfect for this to have any chance. He's got to get it out low and really drive through it. And I tell you, that was one heck of a kick. One heck of a decision on the sideline to even try it as well. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And a tight game after punting last time. To see if they can get something going on this drive. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Shaq tops it, making his presence felt on the sack. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Another try after the first down sack. Wentz, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Shotgun now for Wentz. And they're going deep for Hill. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. They were trying to erase that deficit in one play. They certainly were, but how about the reaction time and the instincts back deep? to force the incompletion. We might need to mark this one down. We may look back and say, that was a game-saving play. The punter Bosher on now as he gets this one away. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And this offense takes over in great shape right at the 50, first and 10. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. From just shy of midfield, Newton, that's going to be caught by Samuel. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Come on, 
from the gun. Newton. Looks to throw, fires right side. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Here's Michael Pilardi now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Wentz now to throw. And he'll hit Jeffrey complete. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an Eagle first down. Working the sideline there. Good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. They have to like the play call because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. A throw over the middle taken in. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 25 yards there on the catch and run. It's a gain of 25 yards. First down, Eagles. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Back to throw. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Here we go. Back, From the red zone now, Wentz escaping the pressure right. And this is incomplete. I see you nodding your head up and down. It's a very heady decision at this stage of the game. Out of the pocket, nowhere to go. Just get rid of it. That's a smart play because you're not worried about your completion percentage, and you're also not trying to force it into bad traffic as well. Throw the ball away, live to fight another down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Wins to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. My man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Winston company with some work to do after the sack. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And that one... Oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill, trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to go up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. Trying to get to the outside. This is McCaffrey. And oh, he spins past him and into space. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That good for 22 and a first down. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. They'll run with McCaffrey. 
And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? Second down, McCaffrey. Ain't going nowhere. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. So this one is over. A victory for Carolina. And they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot of... But now, it's about taking the ball away. Taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory. So for Carolina... They're on a nice early roll as they move to 3-1 with a win here. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the New England Patriots. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they'll drop down to 1-3. And, and they'll try again next week at home against Philadelphia.